everyone and welcome to today's video. So, I'm filming in the afternoon so I've got myself a little herbal tea, wild apple and cinnamon. I thought I'd film my favourite powders because I was thinking, what am I going to film today? I, I know a lot of you give me suggestions and I've forgotten to actually look at them again, so I'll have to look at them. But I thought I would film my favourite powders, okay? Because I think that's always a good thing and I love powder. So let's start off. Number one, translucent powder, Laura Mercier is a, you know, cult classic, isn't it? It's a lovely powder. I've got it on today over my mix of Bare Pro and Double Wear. And it just gives you that really nice kind of natural look. So for me, if I've applied my foundation with a brush and it's a bit more of a heavier application, I will use just a translucent. Now, to be fair, there's many good translucent powders. You don't necessarily have to have this one and I don't think it's necessarily the best. I love the Max Factor one, but I think they've changed that. It used to be in a little black tub and I think it's now different, but that was lovely because it had kind of like a skin undertone to it. It was lovely. Um, what other? Cotier's one, haven't tried that, but a lot of people say it's similar to this. So, you know, I just bought into the hype and bought it and I'm using it and it, it works. It doesn't, I tell you what, if you don't want to have that powder effect, then this is for you. This doesn't give you, as you can see, I'm not matte, um, but I have got oily skin, but it doesn't give you that heavy, powdery, cakey look. So it is a really good all-rounder. I do like this. Then I've got the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. This is the Easy Bake. I've got so much in this lid, so I have to keep it like this. Now, I have tried this all over my face, and I don't like it all over my face at all. It's got a very strong perfume smell. It is very fine and soft, and it works beautifully setting under eyes and the eye area. So when I put my concealer on, over my eyes and my under eye, I will use this powder to set that area. Because it's so fine, you can really pack it on and it doesn't make it um, cakey or creasy. It just, on the face, it doesn't, it doesn't really work for me. But as an under eye setting powder, it's fantastic. It comes in lots of different shades. I've got the shade Pound Cake. So it's slightly skin tony, neutrally. So it's, it's a really nice one for under the eyes. Then I do love, I do love a powder foundation. So if, for example, if I've applied my foundation on with a sponge, it's a bit more of a light coverage. I then might want to use a powder foundation for extra coverage or I'm having a breakout. That is what I'll usually do for extra coverage. Now, two of my favorites are the Vichy Derma Blend. This is an incredible powder. I have this in the shade 25 Nude and it is a gorgeous, mineral-based um, powder foundation. The coverage on this is fantastic. It's buttery, it's soft, it's creamy, it doesn't look cakey, it's a gorgeous one for touch up. So you might wear your translucent during the day and then need something to touch up. This is beautiful for that. It never gets cakey. It's got an added SPF of 25 in it, so perfect for summer. And I just love this love this the color um the consistency of it it's a beautiful beautiful powder then of course i've got bare pro this is in the shade warm natural 12 it's a beautiful powder again i love to set my foundation with this or your tinted moisturizer or anything like that it's a beautiful beautiful creamy buttery never cakey gorgeous gorgeous setting powder love it it just gives that extra finish to your um, makeup and I adore it. Then I've got this one I've raved about for years and I think it's discontinued as is most things with Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil in the shade Medium. I've had so many compacts of this. This isn't a foundation powder, it's more of a setting powder, although it comes in a few shades. This is this is just airbrush in a compact. It is so beautiful. If I'm, for example, you're going out of an evening and you do want a bit more of a look, then this is a beautiful one to set a really full coverage foundation with because it just gives that Instagram filter look. You can't see it on the skin. You can't even see when you're putting it on the skin, but it just transforms 
it's so beautiful. And you know what? I don't think they do this anymore because bare skin, it's not, not, you know how they've got so many different things. I was thinking about this yesterday. I was like, gosh, they had so many different things, didn't they? Gen nude, bare pro, bare skin, like so many different things. So hopefully they're going to whittle things down. But this was a firm favourite of mine. And then last but not least, of course, I have to mention my original. I love my original. I wore this yesterday. This I like to use on my no makeup days where I'm literally, I'm not putting any makeup on. and I just want to go to the park, walk the dog, come back. I'll put some of this on, a bit of mascara, a bit of lipstick. It is really beautiful. I also like this over foundation. So if I want a more natural look, a more glowy look, but I still want to wear my foundation, then buffing this on top, it gives the most beautiful, beautiful finish. If you are one of those people that find that this doesn't give you the coverage that you seek, then apply it over a foundation or tinted moisturiser and I promise you will love it. Now that I've got the shade medium beige and um, it's just a good one to have. Do you know what I mean? It's just a good one to have in your, in your makeup menagerie. <laughs> I think that is all my powders. It is, you know. Yeah. I was going to think, oh, I was thinking of doing perhaps my um, most used makeup tools or my must have makeup tools. I don't know if that would be interesting because to be, to be fair, do I want to watch somebody's video about their favourite makeup brushes? Not really. I find that really boring, but you might find it interesting. So let me know because I really want to get the videos out. I really want to um, get the content out, basically. Maybe we'll do a signature makeup look and a chit chat, get ready with me, that kind of thing. I think we'll do that next because, you know, we've got to add a bit of a makeup chat in there somewhere, don't we? And I feel like we can have a, a long chat that way, okay? So now I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good week so far and I will chat to you soon. Bye.